Hello everyone, welcome to the series Automating the Boring Stuff in Ansys Mechanical. In today's video, we will be seeing how to export graph pane. In our last videos, we have seen graphics pane, the tabular pane, and the worksheet pane. Today, it's the time for graph pane. So, graph pane is something that you see at the bottom next to tabular data. For example, if I click on fix support, you will see everything is fixed. For force, we have from starting of time step 0 till 1, we have a gradual increasing and then it's steady on and if it is a moment the same so for different different time step you can see all these graphs please note this graph pane is not the same as the result chart or the probe result or even the convergence so this is something which is very specific only when you see in the graph graph window so for example if i am uh, okay so before i begin how to export it into some image let's see how to toggle this graph pane so similar to worksheet pane we have seen previously so you can call this uh, function which is do type line window so graph window is something internally called as timeline window so if i just uh, execute this you will see it will turn off turn on turn off turn on but if you want to turn on only when uh, it is turned off so you can call this first check if timeline window is active or not if not then only activate it so right now it's already active so if i execute it nothing happens if i turn it off and then i turn on then only it will turn it off okay so you will see this works only when it is inactive so this was about toggling the graph window and let's see how to export it for exporting i have i have a workaround which i saw from the ds script so here what i am doing is i'm just calling a step control and in this i am passing a uh, file name and this step control is nothing but uh, I mean it's already a known uh, this step control is already a known uh, variable so here you will see it is nothing but a graph utility and then I pass it uh, uh, image name for example let's say it's a force so I will just rename it into a force see if test folder is empty or not so I will just delete it first okay you have the force and then I have the width and the height so here you can manually define it and then prove this is always true so instead of jpg jpeg if you want png or bmp you can pass this method method instead of this write jpg file. and then once i execute you will see it executed successfully let's go back and see the force okay from 0 to 100 it's absolutely fine so instead of width 1200 and height 1000 let me make it 800 and let's go to the moment one so here if i just pass moment and execute it it executed successfully let's go to moment and the height got decreased and we see the same thing so this was all about exporting the graph pin i hope uh, this video was useful to you please hit a like and subscribe to my channel thank you